drama to go outside To mix up in drama to free my mind Jealous people around me, I need to change my life I just turn colder every time I try What would I do without you, my chargey? I don't feel that way with anybody Hello guys and welcome back to my channel So this is part 2 of my late series If you haven't already watched part 1, I'll leave it in a card up above That is just showing you how to bleach the knot on your lace frontal in this video part two i'm going to be showing you how to customize your lace frontal i personally do not like to customize my lace frontal too much because one this hair was really cheap and i don't know how long this is gonna last so i don't want to go too ham in it and two naturally your frontal is going to shed because we bleached the knots so it's naturally going to shed by itself so you don't need to go too ham I personally like the fullness of my frontal. I don't like to pluck it too much. I like the way it looks because my natural hair doesn't look like this. If I can buy a fake hairline and have it real thick, I'm going to keep it like that. So I don't like to do too much. In this video, I'm not going to be doing too much. But I am going to be showing you two different methods on how to customize your lace frontal. The second one is for beginners. So sis, if you're not advanced, don't do step two. Don't do the second version. Just just, just do the first one. Okay? So if you want to see exactly how it is I customize my lace frontal, please keep on watching. For this video, you are going to need a mannequin head, a wig stand, some T-pins, tweezers, a wig, and or a comb. Starting things off, my hair is wet because we just finished rinsing out the bleach in our hair. and. Customizing your lace frontal on wet hair is actually really easier than doing it on dry hair. So here I'm just pulling all the hair back and I'm going to part a section off with my rat tail comb. I don't like to plug the very front of my hairline because then it begins to thin out too much. I like to go, I like to take out a little bit from the front and pluck right behind there. Here I am just separating out a little bit of the hairline plus the edges that I'm going to be using because again we're going to cut the edges and I don't and it's going to be thin and then we just need a little bit more to cover up all the plucking to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to be taking my tweezers and I'm just going to be going in. There is no method to this madness. You just go in, plug 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 plug. Make sure you are brushing away the plucked hairs every now and again so you can see your progress and you can see how far you've come, what you need to do, where you need to pluck, how far back you need to pluck, how far forward you need to pluck. This is all about visualization. This is all about the eye. So in total, this takes about 30 minutes for if you want it to be just decent or if you want to look like me. But if you want to go in, if you want to go ham, girl, you need to take out an hour or so out of your day to do this because the more natural you want it to look, the longer you want to spend, the more time you want to spend customizing it. I'm going to be quiet now, I'm gonna shut up and then I'm just gonna let y'all enjoy the process and I'll come back when I start showing you my second method. Now here I'm just showing you the progress that I've made so far on this side of my head. Now we're moving on to method number two and this method involves a razor. Now this one will save you so much more time. I just go in and take a razor and I go in randomly and I just razor away at the frontal. This will save you so much time and but you have to be really careful and you have to be very light handed because you sometimes you can just lose focus and you can um, create a bald spot. So that's why I say this is not for beginners because you have to know what you need to pluck and where you need to pluck it. But if you are a beginner, tweezers are the best way to go because here you can go a little bit crazy just trying to rush. But if you know what you're doing, this is just going to save you so much more time. 
As you can see, we've progressed a little bit further while using the razor. So here I am just showing you that I am still parting, going a little bit further back, taking the razor and razoring away or plucking as you can say. So this is the progress so far. The front of my head, I'm not the side of my head compared to this side of my head. And to be honest with you, I don't take much time in plucking that side of my head because I know I'm not going to be putting my hair in a ponytail and you're not going to be seeing that side of my head. So here I'm just parting away my edges or my little baby hairs. And again, I'm taking that same razor and I'm just going to be snipping away. I'm doing this sporadically, not doing it in a straight line. I don't use scissors because this part has to mimic natural baby hairs as much as possible. So I'm just taking the razor, going in sporadically, not cutting it too short at first just to see how long it is. And if it's too long, I'll just go back in with E with the razor again here i'm just adding a little bit of water just to see how long it is and it's a little bit too long for me so i just go back in with the razor and cut off some more now at this point you can go ahead and try and do the little soup de soups to see how long the baby hairs are to see if you need to cut them some more like i'm showing you here i'm just using plain water to do the little soups to see if i need to go in and cut some more but yeah, that's pretty much it for this customization. I just go in at the very end, take some got to be glue and set my baby hairs in place. But I'm just going back and forth, seeing if the baby hairs are too long or if I need to go in and cut some more, just using plain water. And at the end, when I'm satisfied with everything, I just take my got to be glued in the black bottle and I just do my little soup de soups. This is the part I mentioned before. I'm just going to be taking my got to be glued and setting my edges in place. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Now, this is part two of my lace series. Part three, I'll be showing you how I construct my wig. So I'll see you guys in part three.